Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of a series I'm going to call McTrash Talk because I'm Kai McTrash and this is my YouTube channel and I'm going to talk. So yeah, that's my kind of intro. Today we're going to have a little speed drawing from Neopets in the background so I'll be talking a little bit about my experience there as well as my, you know, experience trying to draw and create characters based off creatures from there. Um, and just for an explanation first off before we go any further, you can kind of see in the top right hand corner there's a, a little green creature reference box that is ebony green and she is an ixie from neopets so if you don't know what neopets is neopets is a virtual pet site it's been around since like 1999 it's very fun it's very flawed it's been a little bit less than well cared for lately and there's been a lot of drama around that and i don't really want to get into that today too much i will probably talk about that in the future but with everything going on this year, I kind of want to give them a little bit of leeway. For now, if things continue this badly, obviously I, I will be probably more likely not be using the site anymore. I mean, currently I'm not using it as I normally would. I'm not doing my dailies every day. Like I did it for like three months straight. And then just recently, I don't know what it was. I guess it's just some of the drama that's happening and some of the repetitiveness of the gameplay. It's a little bit hollow if you're not like really good at certain things for example like a big thing for earning money on neopets and money i mean neo points you can't turn it into real life money whatsoever and um, but neo points is like food club but i don't know what i'm doing so there, there's problems like that where things aren't always super open i'm very dyslexic dyspraxic so even like a, an in-depth explanation i'll probably have trouble with i do way better with like a video explanation where I can hear the person talk and see what they're doing rather than a tutorial where I'm just reading through what they said they did but yeah so th there's elements to it that are like I'm bad at this game because of my own intelligence level and not doubting Neopets and this game is boring because Neopets maybe made it for a promo or they didn't put as much effort in or it's just too difficult for me and I, I have no idea why the difficulty levels as high as it is in some games but I know it's because other people don't feel challenged who have been possibly playing since 999 and while I had started an account way back in the day I think it was either late 1999 or like between then and early 2001 I was pretty young discovered Neopets right before I discovered my other obsession which is gorillas and really fell in love with it I had this sensation when I started up and I had this newbie account there was like this rush, this high that I had as a child from the excitement and joy using this site brought me and I've always chased that. <laughs> I've chased that on Neopets itself as well as trying on other websites to see if I get that same sensation. The only things that really have have been things that become very important interests to me such as like I said gorillas, Steven Universe became a really big special interest for me before Blizzard did all that stuff. I was so into Overwatch. I can't play it now without feeling bad so not so much but at one point and so like I, th I think it's a cool thing to be able to create art for that special interest you have and I do think it's important that people have them but it's also a little bit messy to kind of stay on all of these things at the same time you wouldn't have any spare time if you just indulged in all of them so luckily they come as one at, or two at a time but at the same time it's like it feels bad to dropping one and going to another it's like it's like stopping a friendship for a while if you're just putting it on pause to go play something else and while that can actually be helpful in a relationship and everything it's also not always like the most appreciated route to go down so it is one of those things where kind of try to balance the problems I have with it with the enjoyment that I do still kind of get but currently I'm, I'm kind of taking a break from doing dailies I'm very like obsessive over the things I like but if I don't feel like the energy I'm putting into it is really giving me much back I get kind of tired kind of quick and currently right now I'm just trying to zap a um, curry which is another new pet I'll put a picture up of it 
and I'm trying to get it to be a robot kitty because someone else on the site very kindly helped me when I accidentally turned my mutant exe ebony green this character into just a plain red exe and the big difference there is that the exe mutation potion is very expensive on site I think it's like 2.5 million neopets or something points sorry and I had never had that money all the way through me playing for years and years like the scouts 14 next year I think it's either 14 or 15 next year and I didn't make much money on that whatsoever and by money I do mean neo points no actual cash um, I, I, I couldn't break the 1 million neo point thing even when I was like playing every day even when I was playing the Trudy Surprise which is like a game that if you play it 20 days in a row or 28 or something days in a row they give you like a hundred thousand neo points which is quite a lot when you don't have things to sell but I really didn't get my fortune so to speak until I was very luckily gifted a stamp or I received it from somewhere I don't know where the stamp came from to be honest but it was worth five thousands it was one for Miraqua and on Neopets there's avatars that you can get for doing certain things and the most expensive ones to do that on are the stamp album because once it's put in a stamp album I do not believe you can take it back out and sell it and so since those items are limited they become more expensive the one that I had was worth like five million and it's changed now to the point where I have been able to buy this to change um, Ebony but I don't have a lot of money all the time and so trying to I replaced this no one was selling it because it comes with like this random event and I just couldn't seem to get lucky enough to get a random event for any mutation potion on Neobets they're all fairly expensive and so I was so convinced I wasn't gonna get it and then this person helped me out got Ebony looking back to like my dream version of her because having a mutant Ixie was a dream pet for me and so now I'm trying to help them by trying to get a robot kitty but you can only get those from the library which is where you put your pet in you, you zap a library onto your pet and that completely changes them some of the time sometimes it'll just remove levels it'll take away hit points or add only those cases sometimes it'll just change their sex so they'll be female male male female and sometimes they completely change the species and sometimes they change the colour and in some cases they do both so it's completely random every time you're always spinning a wheel and uh, yeah so <laughs> spinning a wheel every day because I accidentally used the library on Ebony and destroyed it and now I want to pay that person back because like I said it, it's a very close thing in my heart and Ebony especially getting her as a mutant was like a really special moment for me because I had never been able to do that even though I wanted to for years and well I think I was like 22 or something when I finally managed it it felt like that little kid being so excited when they saw the design being so excited when they came back and the design was still available even though almost every other one had been converted like so good and yeah so this person helped me out a lot and, and got me back to where I was supposed to be with Ebony so I want to bring that back and like that's the thing the people on the Neopet site even some of the moderators are really passionate about what they're doing I really care about the site and want to make it excitable for everybody but I feel like sometimes things get a bit lost in translation and sometimes they can't really provide things that they maybe want to but can't who knows like I said I want to give them some time to figure things out before I go at them I recorded another episode of this where I just I just laid into divine art I just gave all of my problems with them but the video corrupted and that's why you're getting this one now and why I'm kind of trying my best to, to start it as a series of its own because I, I want to be able to talk both positively and negatively about anything so this this should work um, and yeah I barely talked about the drawing process but I've always been pretty clear throughout it and um, yeah it's, it's one of those things where you know I, I wish I could talk about this in extreme detail but literally it's just me adds 500 dots nice you know like I kind of try to space them out and everything and like also with this I've tried to make ebony more unique compared to the standard mutant one but sh I still need it to be recognizable as that thing so I try to give her, her own features here and there give her unique freckling and dappling from like these freckles that standard mutant ixies get 
Um, and yeah, like, I think she came up pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I hope you guys are also got some feedback for it because um, 100% don't listen. Um, and yeah, like, but now we're working on the outfit. And you'll see, I start doing pinstripes and then I give up because I just could not make it look right. I think there's like probably plenty of people who can draw like the, the right size line over and over again but I always end up changing it and morphing it and it doesn't look right. So eventually I gave up and just started doing, you know, the good old emo stripes from, from back in the day. I feel like that's more of the kind of group that um, Xyz, no not Xyz in general, just my specific Xy Ebony would fit into. And it was kind of thing that I was into when I was younger so it's maybe like, you know, putting my tastes on her but I never quite dressed like this so I'm not making her me, she's not like a self insert in any way. I had so much trouble with the eyes on this one, you probably see that unlike any of the other ones in this um, series of OC Tober that I'm doing, I have um, eye shines and she does just to kind of make things a bit clear. But yeah, I found it a really fun process to like try and plan out an outfit for her that wasn't just like one that she could actually get on their website. The prompt is modern AU. Neopets isn't really not modern but it's kind of medieval but it's a mixture of all these different things. It's 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 not exactly brand new but <laughs> I feel like this fits for at least modernising her specific look. Particularly considering if you can see the reference still. She doesn't normally wear clothes in the times that I've drawn her. I, I do it like completely just like a cartoon. I, I, I am not here to make anything creepy about Neopets. Um, but you know, she, she didn't have like an outfit or anything so I, I kind of chose to give her that. And we have this final piece where I think she's pretty like interesting looking and less generic. Obviously I guess if you've never seen like the, the mutant X season or that it might seem like super unique but it's really not that much as modifications on a, a pre-existing design. But with a character that I feel like I get to know her a little bit more every time I draw her. I've only drawn her three times. I should really do it more. It's that tough way where I have like my world, my OCs that I really want to write about but then I also have these like fan characters that I want to play with and I also want to do fan art but oh, it's so hard to keep everything in balance and I definitely need to do more fan art for a bit more building of an audience. That sounds really bad and like I would just be using a fandom for that but it's really not that. If, if I do fan art for a fandom it's because I genuinely do really like it or someone has requested me and it will say in the thing if it's requested but it is hard to balance it all and I, I mean hopefully I can dress, dress her up again, draw her again, both but I guess it kind of depends on what's going on at the time. Next month's mostly going to be writing so I'm not really sure what I'll upload here other than maybe something quick like this for that. I could talk through what I'm writing and everything but I feel like it would be a bit boring to watch. Um, and I guess I could just read out the stuff if that's stuff guys are interested in. I am very open to feedback so please feel free to leave me a comment below telling me something you'd be interested in seeing, something that you'd really not be interested in seeing if I've mentioned it. <laughs> um, and if you want to subscribe and leave a like and all that I, I, I would be very grateful. <laughs> but most important is getting a little bit of feedback, getting a little bit of a dialogue going so if you have any comments you'd like to leave I would graciously accept them in the comments below. That took so long to get right. <laughs> I am going to go before words fail me anymore. Thank you very much for watching and sticking for this long. I hope you guys have had a great time and I will see you in the next one. Bye!